What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Sea of Solitude. We just finished chapter 8, Fine and Mellow, and we're heading into chapter 9. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. I think we were on our boat ride when we first uh, ended the video. I can't understand you. What more oh, do I oh. have to do? Hi, Sunny. I miss you. Oh my god, I love my fam this family so much. They're so complicated, but it's just so nice to see, like, problems get worked out. It just gives me, like, this sense of, like, involvement or, like, uh, I've, I've got, like, a stake in their story. Like, I, I am invested to see them do good and to, like, make themselves better. I never thought I'd make it this far. Sunny, my parents, so much suffering. My poor parents. I'm so glad they're okay. Me too. So I'm glad. Relieved. No, happy even. But that muscle was partly right. That but how are you supposed to know when to stop helping and start letting go? I know Mama and Papa love each other. I don't understand how you can love someone so much and still say goodbye. Speaking of goodbyes, I haven't seen a girl in a while. Saying goodbye so and letting go is sometimes a part of loving somebody. I don't know who she is. <sighs> it's getting cold. Okay, so this looks like the statue that we saw before, actually. That head statue that Sunny was perched on. Um, and now it looks like we've entered Snowy area. Chapter 9. Nobody gets me but you. Oh boy, I'm so excited to get some more of this. And now we're in the snowy area. I wonder what this could possibly represent. Now that... Because before, I think, we theorized that the Glory. rising tide... Oh, I'm oh, so happy you're here too. Wait for me. We theorized that the rising tide Glory? and water represented kind Glory of so your depression. Away. But now that water's frozen, what does that mean in your your real life? What, is, what does this possibly it's mean? It's freezing. I'm sure it'll make it clear to us in a little bit. I miss you so much too. So much. I have so many things to tell you. I've learned all about listening and how to help and even let go. Oh! What? What's wrong? Why would you hurt me like that? I, I was just hugging you. I swear. Wait. Don't. Don't go. What did I do? Please. I'm so sorry. Okay. Girl! Yeah. Jack? What... What the hell just happened? That's... Yeah, what the, what did just happen? I picked this up. Whoa, I can carry it with me. <laughs> Whoa, it's... Oh, I've got a big old uh, wolf shield. Okay, so... This is a piece of... Of Jack's face. I saw something beneath it. Something dark. It was part of his, like, monster what image. What did I do to hurt or his anti -image. him like that? I can fix this. I'll carry it back to him. I can heal him. So, like, my first thought about the frozen water is that it represents, uh, exactly, like, isolation and loneliness. Not exactly depression, but a very specific version. Like, being alone, isolated, and it, it, you know, one of your isolated and alone, you, you know, it, I don't know, finished. it could be cold. I don't know. That hey. might have panned out. Did you come to take Sunny home from school? Or just to see me? Well, Sunny has another hour of class. I might have time for you. Maybe. <laughs> oh, you do know I'm crazy for you, right? <laughs> I hear that sentence all the time. So, I'm not your only lover? Well, 
If you can convince me you deserve it, then maybe you might become the only one. I think I can give you a compelling demonstration of my skills. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, actually, in the context of the boyfriend, that it might. Right at the start of our relationship. Oof. Has it really been two years? He was the most lovely man I've ever met. It might represent, like, in a relationship, whenever like it goes south or sour, or like one person becomes uninterested, they can become cold, distant, and you know the relationship just falls apart. Um, so it might be like kind of a metaphor or a symbol for that. So like your depression and your your depression, your water, it's becoming ice because you're being like you're giving the cold shoulder. <laughs> it may be. Well, we'll have to see. And then Jack, like he's like this beautiful white wolf, but his facade gets broken away, and you can see like he's just kind of you know as tortured and <laughs> monstrous as you are. Nope, no Shelly. I don't. Monster. Yeah. This is serious. Please listen to me. No, Shelly. Oh, Jack is here. I was just on my way to apologize. Please, if you go on like this. You will destroy yourself. Hmm. If you keep getting in my way, I will destroy you. Hey, why won't you listen? Okay, so if Shelly, Jack again, I Shelley's recognized like, him immediately. That must mean something. I don't know. Shelly might be like a representation of Kay. And no, I'm pretty sure that Shelly's a representation of like Kay's internal conflict and her coping mechanism, thus the shell. So like her telling herself that like, oh, something's wrong, like something's gonna go bad. But it's coming from like the toxic part of herself. So I don't know if that has any merit. Oh, I totally missed the thing that I was supposed to get. Time to swan dive, woo hoo, wee. Don't hurt me. Yeah, see, no pain. I can fly. Uh, th but this is where I need to go. There's some corruption here to take care of. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. And then the girl kind of chased at our, our, I guess that might be our light image. The girl chased after Jack. Oh, here we go again with purifying ourselves. Okay. Uh. So, I'm, I'm thinking that the, the girl in the raincoat might just be a rep another representation of Kay. Maybe the positive side? And she's like split between these two things, and that's why like our K that we play as isn't some like ginormous evil monster entirely because she has these two halves that are like in conflict with each other. And so instead she's like a humanoid figure, but still in the like essence of the monsters. I'm pretty sure it's right here. Yeah, here we go. This is it. Get into my line backpack, it's your end. Make him leave me alone forever. No, I, I don't know. Ah, uh, it's so hard to say. Because like a person needs balance. They need both. Their light and the dark side. You need both. It's it's a balance. You'll never know like real happiness unless you've known sadness. And you'll never be better you if you don't have your so example. Much lately. You are almost there. You know what to do now, don't you? I know exactly what to do. I'll use everything I've learned to help Jack. He needs me. What? No. No, help yourself, Ding Dong. I don't know. This is gonna be, I mean, sensitive areas. Cause I don't know, from like the developer's perspective, like what the what they would want you to learn a lesson out of this. Like if other people are important, or, or if you're equally as important. But that that's my point of view. Like you're equally as important. And so, like, in this situation, like, your family, obviously, like, helping your family and being there for the ones that depend on you, but, like, a person like that, like, your boyfriend, like, I don't know, and especially at a young age, it can be easy for a person to put themselves ahead of another one and to be selfish in that way, and so, like, helping Jack might ultimately not pan out to be the best idea here for Kay, and I'm getting the feeling that we're heading towards that idea because Shelly's like warning us and everything. We're gonna have to just see. All right, come on, light, get into my backpack. I don't know, but anybody who plays this game is gonna end up with a bias and like 
want to project themselves on it, so you, you have to take everything I say with a grain of salt for sure. Zs. I need to go get a bottle. I was hoping that there'd be some bottles around here. I didn't see anything. Uh, let's just take a peek down beneath us just to make sure. So and another thing that kind of tips me off to that idea is that in the beginning, when she was talking to her mother, she was explaining how Jack became kind of cold and distant with her. And, I don't know, in, in like budding relationships and new relationships, especially when you're young, stuff like that just happens. And like, oh! some people clinging on. Like, Kay, it feels like she's like clinging and holding on to the idea that they're going to be together. It just doesn't seem like it'll work out. Hey, like a healthy thing. Think about your parents. Did they yes. teach you nothing? Yes, there we go. I wouldn't have seen them at all if I'd let you stop me. I was trying to stop you getting hurt. Yeah. You know what hurts? Arguing with you. That's natural. We fight. That's what we do. Stop talking like you know me. You know nothing. Yay. Think about this. I'm begging you. Who will truly help you to change? He will. He loves me. No! Oh, no. Kay, you don't understand. I understand just fine. This is love. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Look. I'm sorry about your shell. Are you cold? No, I'm scared. You don't need to be. I know what I'm doing. Hey, don't you see what you're becoming? You really don't understand. This is sad. It's just such a vivid symbol of like, ignoring your internal voice and Allowing yourself to become healthy for the sake of somebody else or the idea that somebody else will take care of you Also, it feel it looks like my backpacks getting larger Especially whenever I'm carrying like that also might be another symbol like whenever I get everybody's like corruption and junk in my backpack Like I've got like this heavy burden to carry because I'm carrying everybody's burden including my own Might be another symbol. I don't know. It's just sad Like because in this case it seems like it's very obvious from an outside perspective that you're kind of heading down like a, a bad path and like it's not going to end well but like if you're that person if you're k in this moment like you're blind to everything love makes you blind and like the the need and want to be Jack, happy makes you blind i'm sorry i hurt you i don't know how it happened k don't worry i'm just happy you're here you look so cute with your backpack have I been carrying it this whole time? Oh no. <laughs> I'm here. I listen. I'll help you. Again. Don't yeah. talk to me like I'm sick! I'm fine! Leave me alone! No, please! I just wanted to help! <sighs> I. I remember now. Oh Sometimes he gets irritated for no reason. I want to help him so badly. There must be a way for me to save him. And then everything will be fine again. I don't think that it's for no reason. You ruined it. You should have let me do the talking. Oh, Jesus! Frick! What the heck is going on? She's a ghost to you now. What happened to you? Okay. I'm gonna just... uh, she's freaky as heck. Okay, she took my... She took the thing. I'm gonna go this direction. I kind of feel slower. I don't know if that's an actual thing or if I'm just... Give me this! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You are so great. Hey. Why can't you just leave it alone? 
I'll jump away. No, 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 no. Okay, hold the E to not mice. It's an interesting concept. I think that the girl does represent um, K, like a positive version of K. But now it's like she's like attacking herself. I don't know. We'll have to think about it in the next episode. We're now to chapter 10. Paint it black. Okay, I'm so excited to continue. Okay, you guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.